Hello everyone, my name is Ferdisol and welcome to a series where we are going to play Dredge. Uh, this is a fishing game with a very very creepy underlying twist and you will find out if you watch the video but before we start the video I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel as that helps me a lot in my endeavor and makes me a very happy man. So this is a very very chill game so I am also going to chill out while playing this so I might not talk in some sections of the game and I'll just fish around looking for new stuff and like explore but I will try to give out as much information as I can while playing the game and I have played this game before as you can see in the save file it says like you know I've played this game for 119 days 119 days so in-game days by the way it does not last too long so i did finish the whole game and i like to finish the whole game before i make a youtube video because that kind of helps me to be more informed about the game and you know be informative while i play the games okay so let's see what happens let's get into the game now Okay, so apparently our ship crashed. I think that was us, right? Yeah, I think so. And I think here we go. The morning light fills your eyes and you try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you have already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Oh well. I'm glad, I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I have had I've had a few of the locals move your things to new one of our old vessels. To, to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time, it can really creep you creep up on you. Okay, so now we do not have anything. So this town has lost their previous um, fisherman and there was a job listing for us and we came here but our ship crashed when we came here into the rocks just nearby. And we lost our ship but they moved like you know move our step into a new ship so this is a very very new vessel and yeah so this is very slow and we are going to go fish catch some fishes now which is not very hard you have to do like you know play a mini game to catch them all and i need to decrease the volume a little bit so as i said before this game is going to be a little on the chill side so like you know like for most of the game you're just catching fishes so there is nothing to commentate on so yeah i'll not force it out of me by the way so yeah you kind of get the idea so we're just catching some fishes we need some money right now and well yeah i know i know i know how to move cameras yes okay and there okay so this game is mostly about inventory management so different fa different fishes have different shapes and you have to manage your inventory like you know to make sure that you can you're getting the most out of the boat you're using i mean you can only use this boat but well you get the point right i mean this inventory space so we're just gonna i mean we are very slow and time passes very fast so we are just gonna be around here in this bay for now and got some fishes to get some money
also i was thinking about making this gameplay like non-commentary so you know like i'll not commentate on anything but that might seem kind of boring because you know it's not only boring as a content but boring for me as well because well i mean i'm just sitting here doing nothing kind of like just playing the game it's kind of sad so there are a lot of dialogues in the game so like i will you know narrate those select your lights by holding yeah i know but i do have a lantern on me right now so i cannot see very far by the way lights are very crucial and as I said before, this has, like, this game has a very creepy underlying twist, right? So, it's not your regular fishing game. It kind of gets creepy at night. And, well, you will see when we start to encounter, you know, some very sinister things. Okay, I just skipped some dialogues. <laughs> Uh, as I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. Uh, I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan, but I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So, to recap, you will need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt and, in turn, keeping the population fed and satisfied, understand? Uh, selling fish helps the town and pays off my debt, got it, yeah. Off you go then, sell those fish while they're still fresh. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. Mm. You are the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He takes a certain type of... He. It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I will play. I will. I will pay you. F oh my God! Like I cannot even read today. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, though. More too. Other towns on other island might pay you different, but while you have still got a deba outstanding here, I'd suggest you working on paying it off first. So let's see what you've got. So you can hold F to like bulk sell them like sell them all at the, at once so how much debt do i have right now like can i see that somewhere the mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store excellent work i've no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town look here i found this down by the docks i'm sure someone like you could make something out of it why don't you take it so research parts okay i will start to explain that now Oh, one last thing. Our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications to your ship. You should pay her a visit. So, I will go, like, I'll start to explain the research now. So, you to get better equipments, like fishing rods, then there is, like, better engines for your boat, which will improve your, you know, speed. Then there is, like, crab pots and nets, like, you, like this comes later, so... Now the best thing would, that we can do is to actually put our research part on the fishing pole because this fishing pole will let us catch coastal and shallow fishes so if you do not know okay let me check what's going on in here so okay so pursuits are quests then messages are like they add to you lore like it they're scattered around the world Encyclopedias are like description of fishes. Uh, so as you can see, there are like these, like how many types? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven types of fish. So they're coastal, shallow, oceanic, abyssal, hadal, volcanic, mangrove. So coastal and shallows are the most common ones. Oceanics can be found everywhere as well, but we will get to this one later because I think this oceanic, uh, sorry, oceanic um, fishes pay very well, but I don't have the necessary space right now for oceanic fishes. 
Abyssal and Hadel comes later because they're kind of like, you know, you need good equipment to catch them. And yeah, Volcanic and Mandrove also like will will get like through upgrading our so researching the fishing rod. So here, as you can see, like this fishing rod will let us catch coastal shallow mangrove and volcanic at the same time. And if we pair it with this one, abyssal, hadal, and oceanic, so we can catch all the type of fish at once. So if we have these two equipped, we can catch every type of fish. But we do need a lot of um, research part for that, and I think I'll grind it offline. So that's the research part kind of covered up, and you can also use your research part to, you know, uh, get better equipment. Um, I think I'll go for this one because, and you have to be careful, like, you know, you have to use your research parts wisely because, you know, they're kind of rare, actually. Like, even if you, like, are at the end of the game, you might not have some parts unlocked because you don't get that many. So you have to like make some choices. I mean, you can get many eventually, but this game is not very long. So, well, you don't get too much. Anyways, I will now go to the shipwright. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is upfront, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take on any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up mostly. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards all above the waterline are splintered and scratched. Take a look around, just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. So, we can get two types of um, fishing rods from her. So now we have a coastal fishing rod, right? We can get a shallow fishing rod as well, so I will buy the cheaper one. Um, this does give us a lot more fishing speed though. This might be a good investment, but I will go for the cheaper one for now. And fishing speed does help you though, so... Okay, so I we need to pay like $27.67 more to, you know get our repayments done which is not that much so i will rest through the night and he also you do not want to sleep full bar like you know because you need a lot of time to like go to the fishing places it will be already morning so you need to wake up a little bit earlier and now also you can like use your spyglass to look at what fish you can catch so it's kind of cool Okay, there's no one. Kind of weird. It's kind of awkward that my boat is so slow. But, well, oh my god, I'm missing. And this game is also kind of full of secrets, so you need to keep checking like everywhere. The lighthouse towers above you, waves crashes endlessly against the perilous rocks below. All creatures, human or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of the structure, a vast column of stone, <clears throat> um, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. Um, how will it stand? How will it? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. Also, this lighthouse is like the. Um, you can go to the map actually. So if you go to the cabin and map, you can see that this area, like the Greater Marrow, this is like our town, in the middle of the whole world, kinda. Like, I mean, these are like the explorable waters, and then there's these. So. And the lighthouse can be seen from anywhere in the map, so, you know, you can always, like, get your ship back into the town. 
following the lighthouse. And we, I think these are oceanic, right? And we cannot, so dredge. Dredges are special items that you can get either for upgrades like this one. This will give you wood as you can see in the silhouette. And these will give you, okay, I will go to that later. And these will give you some kind of a treasure that you can sell. So, but we cannot catch them yet because we don't have any like dredging equipment. So I'll just catch fishes right now to like repay my debt. That's my kind of goal. And also, uh, did you see the golden dot on there? So <clears throat> this will give us a trophy fish. So it's kind of like the different from the other fishes and it will give us more money compared to the other ones. Which is kind of cool. I don't want to catch that fish yet because that's like a super big one and consumes a lot of space. I did run out of space though, so I'll go back to the town to sell everything. And also you can explore like everything in like as the, that you can see. And very soon actually this game might start to go very, like you know, this might become very spooky. And you'll see why. <clears throat> <clears throat> My throat is kind of killing me though. I don't know why. Maybe I need to drink some water. Anyway, I'll sell all of my fish. Oh, okay, wait. I have had a special order come through for my customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above the normal prices. Tell me about the order. They asked for one gulf founder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you've got when you have them. You need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwreck should be able to sort that for you. Mm. Have you got any fish for the order? I think I do, right? I have one. So you can do this like, you can come to this fish later, so as it says here. And I will sell the rest of the fishes to him then. And how much dev do I have? Only seven dollars. I will go out. It's, it might not be too safe though. But well, I need to kind of. So these are all the squids. I need something that is not a squid actually. Actually, you know what? Let let's catch the squids. Whatever. Okay, so do you see the problem that you cannot properly see all the things? Um, I mean, uh, my light is not on still, but you cannot see too far away still. And uh, it's kind of, you know, scary. And this game does punish you if you like stay out at night. Um... Not always, though it depends. It's okay now. I need to go back, and your light can just randomly turn off, by the way. And do you see the eye above, like right below the clock? So that kind of you know shows your panic level. So if you're in the darkness or like something's happening to you, like you'll see later. I don't want to spoil the fun for you guys. Um, it will like turn into a like it will turn red and then it'll get more panicked and then things start to happen. Okay, let's see who she is. 
A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Why are you here? I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. The mayor has something to say apparently. Um, just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be uh, will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this uh, package to the dock worker there, please? Yes. So uh, the mayor hands you a small da damp package bound in a string. It's dripping slightly. The dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Okay, so I will sell my fishes. He said us, you know, he told us to be quick. Interesting. Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted cons consent for the shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. Um, I've also allocated some money to improve the fishmonger service. He might have something to talk to you about soon. Uh, keep up the good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I want to check out the dry dock, but I will first go and deliver the packages that he wants us to deliver. And I know it's night. I know it's so scary. Oh, so do you see that? Do you see the problem? Um. So these are like this. This just. The, Oh, so I, d I don't know what, what these are called actually, water sprouts or some shit, I don't know. So they can damage your um, ship actually. Do we dare to fish? Oh, no. I do dare to fish actually. Because why not? Oh, it's all morning already, so. Oh, I need that fish though. As you can see the silhouettes of the fish under the... It's depleted? Why? It was right here, just a second ago. Um, also, if, they, like, if the crows show up, you need to like turn on your horn on. And they like kind of leave you alone. And they do not show up if you... Like, you know, if you are not panicking. So if you're panicking, like, you know, this should start to happen. It's not fun. Hmm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole into the paper and picks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm, I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use of it. Use out of it. He pulls a crumped, crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you are on the water. I stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Yeah, I will. Definitely. Um, and you can also read books and that will like, you know, sustainable fishings. I do not know what it does. So if like, you just need to like pass the time to uh, to read the books and that's it. Uh, you enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. What are baubles? An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that... No, uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Um, have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? I do not, actually. Also, um, you can access your storage from a lot of different places. So you can just keep your stuff on your storage, then like, go back. So I need to keep an eye out for the kind of fish that I need. 
Oh, there you go. There's there's the fish I need. Uh, far on the coast. Also, I need to actually sleep because I'm panicking so hard right now. Like you can see the eye. It is not looking well. It's only our second day here, and we're already like you know kind of fucked. But it is oh hey we will manage. I mean, I go sleepless in real life. What do you expect? I mean, I only slept for three hours today, so it's kind of it's kind of true to real life, actually. I'm not proud of that though. So I just like I was woke up watching charts all the all night long, like kind of sad. But well. I think I watched shots for like three hours straight. Like that's not healthy, but well, I mean they're so addictive. Um, we need to purchase a new engine now, don't we? Um, the dry dock, the fish mangal. Let's see. Uh, have you got any fish for that order? Yes, I do. I just leave whatever. Uh, Fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. Good, good. They should be pleased with this. Um, I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a black, a whole black grouper. Uh, don't see many people fishing during squid. Sorry, fishing squid these days. They only feed at night. And well, you know what nights are like around here. Good luck. Uh, have you got any fish for that order? Uh, do I? No, I do not. So, uh, not all school of fishes fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimen. Sometimes you can even just tell tell just looking from the surface. Yeah. Okay. So, you can get uh, like different aberrations of fishes. Oh my God! No. Can I just sell it to you? I will sell everything to you. So also you want to sell your fishes like as long as like you know before they start to go bad because do you see the condition that's like now it's fresh right so I'm getting full price out of it but then it becomes a stale I think then you get only 60% of the value so you need to sell your fishes as fast as you want like as fast as you can. So now we are exploring the dry dock and well I thought I would not have too much to talk about in this game but I am constantly talking about stuff actually. Anyways, let's see what she has to say. This is the dry dock. We can make significant improvement to your vessel here. We're talking extra space, more attachment points for equipment and even superior hulls. Uh, we will need a decent stock of hard metals for these projects. Lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. How do I get materials? There's plenty of decent materials around the coast. Uh, from various shipwrecks and the like. I'm sure you'll find a way to get at them. Materials are assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored. So don't worry if you only have half of what we need. So what she's saying is you can like... You don't have to waste your boat storage or your like you know storage storage to keep these materials. You can like store it here. Like you can just give it to her, like you know, even if you don't have all the things at once. And it will like be stored in here. So yeah, well we need we don't have the equipment to collect these. So I will sleep actually. I'll sleep for the whole day and the night. Then I'll wake up in the morning. At when should I wake up? 3 3.30ish and then I will go to look for some squid actually let's see if I can get some uh, I think there are some squids over here uh, are they squids though? they are not squids indeed can I make it to that before sunrise? So we got one of the fish that we need. Uh, we need another though. We need squids as well. Okay, so it's morning already, so we cannot get the squids anymore. Um, yeah, well. I will go and deliver this actually, because why not? And also I need to purchase an engine, I keep forgetting about it. 
What is this though? You know what? It's very nearby. Let's get these for some extra cash. Oh, it's, there's only one fish. What the hell? I want to start like, collecting some dredges though. It will be very useful. Oh, our boat is so slow. Need to do something about that right now. And I will make small episodes of this um, game. Because I just want to chill out with this, you know. Just have a nice time and, you know, fish around and get scared sometimes. But well, it is part of the game, so. I do have something of that order. And I need two squids and that's it. And I found this book out back. Could be, could be useful to you. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damn bit battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Okay. I'll sell the gray eel. And uh, so what do we have? Okay, so we did these two. We are done with these um, quests. And we need two squids. Yeah, that's the quest. So it's 61% complete, like as you can see. And here are like the informations of the the fishes that we have got. And some are blank because we have not caught them yet. And now actually. Uh, oh, okay, 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 no, no. The oh, the engine come first. So I will go to the ship, right? And go to the second section. And what is this? 14. This gives us 10. So I will actually buy it and install it. And it takes some time to install. Like it says how much, so it takes two hours. So I think like how many space it takes, like it's the same amount of the hours. So it takes two spaces, so it takes two hours as well. Um, yeah, I think it's, it's consistent. So, um, I will go back now. Our boat will be a little faster than before and hopefully, and oh, oh by the way, um, as I said before, I have played this game, so I will be able to give you guys like info on what I'm actually doing. Um, so I am going to the island on the right, like that's a straight off us from now, you know. So we, okay, let's 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 just go there first. Let's let's not, you know, talk about it before we are there. Okay, now we're here. So, we can check out this workshop and I think there will be some equipment for us inside. So we will go inside. You enter taking a moment to let your eyes adjust to the dim light. What do you want to do in here? Pick up items. You found some horrifying creations amongst the detritus. The Lord, what is this? Detritus? I will pick this up. Um, where do I put it though? Oh, what do you want to do in here? Okay, I need to leave because there is nothing else to do. I'll go to the room mention. The door is locked. Wait, what? Why is the door locked? Also, I need to keep this in my... In my cavern for now. I think I know why the door is locked. Oh, okay, anyways, I found some squids and can't they be nearby? Oh, it's getting night time. Okay, I'm kind of scared, not gonna lie. I need only two. Okay, there's, there was only one. Okay, that's sad. Okay, I need to be careful because I do see them though, kind of. Are these squids? Oh no! D Dude! Did you hear that? Did you hear the horn? Like, the second horn? I did not do the second horn. I think these are squids. Yep, I'll catch. One. 
Yeah, so... Okay, that was a scary. Well, I do have the quest item though. So we will give him the quest item. The fishmonger wraps up the fish and hands you some money. I did not think you had it in you. Night fishing is a tall order. Been meaning to talk to you about new business venture. I've been considering crab pots. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could use it. You could get it fixed at the shipwright. So yeah, I will take that from you. So it'd be pretty straightforward. Just drop it out at the sea anywhere, then come back after a day or two to check on it. Check on on it. Check in on it. You've got a customer after a fiddler crab and a common crab. Both the species can be found around here. Not all school of fishes fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Okay, yeah, I know that too. Okay. So I will get how how much do they cost? They cost 100, right? I will get two of them. Trust me, it's a good investment. And then I will go to the shipper to fix up the banged, banged one. Like, you know, he said that one of them were banged. So, and I will distribute them here. Okay, you don't want to go near that. Trust me. Trust me, that might look like a fellow fisherman to you. But, trust me, that's not. Why am I going there? Okay, he left. Whatever. We don't want any business to do with him. Um, and these fish... Oh my god, okay. Yeah. I wish I could buy some lights. Can I buy some lights? The lights are very important, to be honest. Oh, I, I brought it kind of close to me, though. Like the fish trap. The crab trap. I can buy some light. I will get them. Very important. For survival. And I will... Okay, I need to repair. It takes 30. So I'll sleep now. I'll wake up. And then I'll go. Uh, did you notice that red bar behind us? Like There was something there. So we are going to go and explore that, I think. And I think then we can go to the... Ruined mansion. Oh, we're slowly making our way there. Also, not the. We do want to get some fishes in the meantime, though. But let's go there first. Oh, we cannot go there, can we? I don't think we can do this right now. Yep, we cannot do this. So I will get some fish and go back to the town. So we did got a weird aberration. So this is a, you know, Aberration of the normal eel. Oh, we got another one. Okay. And they, I think, sell for like, more money. And also, if I'm like, you know, fucking up my inventory, and you guys notice it, please don't like, you know. I'm not the best at inventory management. Actually, I am kind of fucking it up. Actually, no. I, I was kind of good. It was okay, like, I, I can still, like, you know, fit the same amount of fish. I can fit one more, though. I just do a lot of back and forth when I do it. And uh, I'll slowly make my way to the village. And, uh, you know what, I think I'll make like one hour episode of this episode, like, you know, this, this game, each, every day. But we did catch some fish, 
which is kind of cool and you don't collide with them so it's kind of okay i'll take this and i will go to the fishmonger i do have some crops for you though but i need a bigger one as well and i will you hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger he greens uh, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep stuttering breath Ah, now, this is the sort of a specimen to liven up my day, hmm, I wonder. He runs his finger firmly along the length of the- Ooh, okay, sounds very, very weird. As though feeling for something, he pushes from one side of his stomach and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open from his stomach and pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it, to the, spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I will pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you well if you find any more. I do have more. So, I have the handkerchief here. Uh, do I have to do anything with it right now? The man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger, and I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out, head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. So now, now we can go, okay, let's see if there is any big crabs that we've gotten. Yeah, we did get a big crab. So now we can like fulfill our quest as well. Um, I do have a crab for you. Take it. The fishmonger wraps the crabs and hands you some money. This'll do. Glad, glad you got some use out of the, that old crackpot. You can always buy more here, or repair damage once it disappeared. I have one final request of you. As you have seen, some fish around here can develop odd deformities. Uh, what do you think happens to a person that eats the flesh of one of these mutants? I do not want to know now, do I? They get sick? Well, perhaps, but want to know for sure, bring me a mutant fish. Any will do, just keep this between the two of us. Oh, oh, do you see where it's going, kinda? Kinda? I know it's gonna be night when I go there, but I will take the risk. It's not too far from here, though. I should not have any trouble, right? maybe so the dude the weird like you know the shadowy dude told us to come here and he wanted to you know propose a business to us about something let's see what he has to say ruined okay is there anything on the workshop that's new um i hope maybe not right i did pick up all everything and the man is standing in a doorway, watching you approach. He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifact, treasures and truths, the curious that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. unmistakable. Even after all this time, the handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. Uh, that's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. 
uh, find me these lost relics and I will rear you in ways beyond all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career and merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations. What do you say? I accept. An interesting decision, I'll prepare the equipment immediately. Uh, when the relics, the relics we are looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, and a music box and key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. So, we are going to call our episodes right here. We got into the basic gist of the game. Like, you know, we know what the game is about. And this quest is very long, by the way. So, let me show you. So, the collector, the, the, he gave us the quest. Search for relics. And there are five relics that we need to find so one is in the marrows which is like which is the area we are in the others are in gale cliff stellar basin twisted strand and devil's spine and if you notice in the map these are the four major areas in, of the game so well we have to kind of play the whole of the game and go to these like different areas and well you will see how we get them so yeah, well, so this is like the whole game, like this is like the main quest of the game, kinda? I mean, not kinda, it is the main quest of the game. So, and there will be a lot of side quests as well, which we will of course do. And with that, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope Dredge was fun to watch. I mean, this is a very chilling game and I am also chilling with the game, to be honest, because I'm taking it very easy. I'm taking it slow, one hour at a time, or close to it maybe i don't know like if i feel like you know something major happened i might stop an episode in 30 minutes you never know and yes um tomorrow we will search around the marrow like the starting area and actually make some progress because now our boat is kind of fast and we have a little bit of money and we can start dredging from now so that will be very you know very cool so we can get all our upgrade i sorry upgrade materials that we need and yeah that we will do that in the next episode so i hope you enjoyed i hope this is fun to watch and if you did do not forget to subscribe to the channel as you know that makes me very happy and makes me very accomplished and i will see you tomorrow have a nice day bye